Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's Combo Breaker 99 back on the fight front once again. Um, just want to do a real quick video uh, announcing the uh, Danny Jacobs and Canelo fight. You know, last week this fight was announced. Uh, it's going to be taking place on May 4th. Um, you know, uh, Floyd Mayweather's old Cinco de Mayo date. So, um, yeah, man, um, I'm glad that this, fi this uh, fight finally came to fruition. Um, Danny Jacobs, you know, I've always felt like, you know, he was a guy that, in the middleweight division that worked really hard for what he gets, you know, worked hard for what he got in the past, you know, as well as the present. And, you know, he's trying to set up his future. And um, I think, you know, he's actually worked harder than Canelo. You know, I know Canelo, he's a superstar, but a lot of things were given to him where Danny Jacobs, just to get what he's getting now and the deal at the zone he's getting, you know, he's had to work hard, you know, uh, after his uh, close loss to Golovkin, you know, the past two years, he's been fighting all the, uh, all the young lines, you know, all the undefeated kids that at, uh, at a uh, middleweight, you know, when nobody else would, everybody from Dervichenko to uh, some of these past guys like Luis Arias and uh, Selecki and, um, I feel like it's, it's his time now. The past two years he's been doing this, and, um, you know, he finally picked up the IBF belt, but now he's getting that unification uh, big championship fight against the uh, legit champion. And um, I think that uh, for Canelo, aside from the third Triple G fight, this is the biggest fight he can make. You know, this is the biggest fight that can be made at middleweight right now. Um, just because, you know, for the fact that he's never fought anybody like uh, Danny Jacobs, you know, Besides Golovkin, who, who are the other middleweights he's really fought? You know, uh, he hasn't really had any uh, different looks at middleweight. Of course, he fought at 168, but he hasn't really fought another legit 160 pounder like Danny Jacobs before. So this is another fight that will answer a lot of questions as far as where Canelo stands in the division as well as um, Danny Jacobs. And um, again, man, it has to be one of these fights. You know, it has to be this fight, Charlo. Uh, Demetrius Andre, any of those guys in the middleweight pool right now because, um, you know, we really need an answer to find out who is the best at middleweight. You know, just like we do at welterweight, just like we do at heavyweight, we need to find out who the best guy is here. And uh, for Canelo, that's very important, you know, for us. You know, I don't know how important it is for him, but for us it's important, especially whenever you got an 11-fight deal at the zone. And um, for me, in that 11 fights, you know, at least like, shit, at least 75 to 80 percent has got to be legit guys, you know, no more Rocky Fieldings, uh, no more C-level guys, you know what I mean? Uh, it's got to be some of these legit guys like Andre, Saunders, uh, Jacobs. It's got to be these guys so we can go ahead and, um, you know, find out who the best middleweight is. But uh, as far as the matchup, yeah, like I said, this is going to be a good fight. Uh, the top guys, you know. Number one is Canelo, number two is Danny Jacobs, number three is Golovkin now. So it's got to be uh, these two. And uh, I think this is going to be a good style-wise fight, you know, as far as like skill for skill. I think it's going to come down to um, both guys going to be trying to – both guys are really going to try to match each other skill for skill. But there's going to be uh, moments of uh, trouble for both guys where both guys are going to try to go after each other. Now, for Danny Jacobs in this fight, you know, he has to do – way more than he did in the Golovkin fight. You know, I felt he won the Golovkin fight, but for this fight, he's got to do what he did in that fight times 15, times 20, you know, because going into this Canelo fight, even before the bell, even before the bell rings, Danny Jacobs is already down four rounds. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you know what I mean, Canelo, the judges, the crowd, they're, everybody's going to be pro Canelo already. So we already know that Danny Jacobs is going to be down four to five rounds already going into this fight. So he can't have any close rounds um, when it comes down to fighting. Every fight's got every round's got to be an individual fight where he, he has to dominate and win every single round convincingly. You can't take any breaks. You can't take your foot off the gas. Every round has to be a round where you dominate Canelo in some way. And by that, I mean... Jacobs, he has to go for a knockout in this fight or he has to knock Canelo down several times in this fight. You just can't box him comfortably and at the same time let Canelo score any shots. You have to make you have to make Canelo miss completely to make sure you get a shutout on the cards in this fight. And I say that because Canelo, he took uh, Floyd Mayweather, he, he took Canelo to school in this fight. You know, Canelo Mayweather, that fight was uh, pretty one-sided. It, it was a schooling for Mayweather. You know, Mayweather schooled Canelo, but the judges still somehow, one of the judges still somehow saw it very close and, and the fight was a majority decision for Mayweather, you know? So imagine, like I said, 
what the judges are gonna are, are gonna pull for a guy like Danny Jacobs, you know. So Danny Jacobs, he got to come in there, um, not necessarily guns a blazing, but he got to go in there, you know, trying to whoop ass. You know, he's got to go in there to try to dominate, you know, uh, with his strength, with his power, you know, get respect from Canelo, all of that. He's got to do all of that. But um, again, man, like I said, the odds are against Danny Jacobs going into this fight, you know. We got to look at the contract too as well you know they already put the rehydration clause in there you know this is something um canelo he's kind of inf infamous for in the past you know where he kind of come in overweight but they're really laying the law down on a guy like uh danny jacobs you know the uh, rehydration clause states that um they can't neither fighter can um skip the second day weigh in you know danny jacobs can't skip the second weigh in also there's a same day weigh in, you know, the same day of the fight and neither fighter can um, exceed 170 pounds. You know, neither fighter can exceed 170 pounds. If one of them does on the same day weigh in, there's going to be a fine that's supposed to be like a six figure fine. So, yeah, they're really laying it down, man. There's really there's really going to be some little diva demands in this fight. I, I feel it, you know, on Canelo's side. But um, overall, man, it's just going to be an interesting fight, a good fight. Uh, this is a breakout fight for Danny Jacobs. And, and again, man, this is going to decide who the best middleweight is, you know. So, uh, yeah, man, as we get closer to the fight, you know, I'll talk more about it. You know, start doing more breakdowns as far as like, um, you know, how they size up. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think of this fight. You know, Danny Jacobs, Canelo, good fight. Uh, probably the best at middleweight. Let me know what you think. Yes, no, maybe so. But uh, make sure y'all subscribe, Combo Breaker 99, as well as the Jab Effect YouTube channel. I'm out. Peace.